No, okay, so my aim for the workshop is to just uh, break all the boundaries of painting, so not stick to what you know at all, but to, we're going to do a variety of exercises and make one final piece. Okay, nice. Leave in the space or do whatever you want. You're going to take one of these and make a splash on the page. So you pour, pour from high, pour from low, it's up to you. The higher you pour, the bigger the, the sort of... The spread. You just... But just, just go. Yeah. Well, we should do Back of your mind, while we go inside and continue. And then, yeah. okay. It's called a conversation exercise, and it's about making a conversation with the marks on your page. You need to make one mark, and then with one color, sort of in the top range of your page. Think about that mark, you have to look at it and uh, try and make a contradictory mark to that. So you look at it, is it fat, is it thin, is it fluffy, is it round, is it whatever, and then you do something the complete opposite to that. And it needs to intersect. So you go in your top corner and you do a thing like this and it's thin and it's blue and it's whatever, and then you take a fat red one and you go all the way through it and then you do They have to touch each other? They That's have to intersect. Mean by intersect. Yeah, they have Ooh. to touch each other. Yeah. And then your third mark has to touch your second mark and then your fourth mark has to touch. So, in the end you're hoping that you'll have a cluster, like a group of marks on your page, wow. and they should all be shouting at each other. But just make sure that you're using a variety of colors and a variety of marks, and that they are overlapping. Those are all the exact same sort of width. and look up to man. Cats are aloof and look down on man. A pig, however, will look you in the eye and see his equal. <laughs> 